guys this is rosa kelly welcome back to my channel so today i just wanted to give you a quick look onto my new digital collection this is collection uh, for the month of june for my patreon it's also available on my website and so yeah let's go ahead and take a look so as you can see this collection has adorable little doggies and cats and i wanted the images of the dogs and cats to be playful but also with a little bit of a vintage look to them and my idea for this collection is to create a fun kind of like a family book of gardening maybe with your kids maybe like a kids party and i just love how this came out and also there's some plain backgrounds without the cute little animals if you wanted to add them to like your planner or your journals or things like that. so i went ahead and printed these on 65 uh, pound cardstock and I'm using the recollections brand that I always use to do the same binding for my books and I just really like uh, the cardstock because it has like a smooth finish and I love how it prints the images now the images are really high definition so if you have like a 12 by 12 uh, printer it will definitely you would definitely be able to print there as well but let's go ahead and take a look look how cute is this little guy oh by the way these um the size that i printed these the paper is eight and a half by 11 so i just went ahead and trim the white extra that i had but the size of these ones are i think eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter but again you can play with your printer make them six by six um and just yeah print as many as you need but i just really love this little kitty look how cute he is um and then we have this little dog on the garden again just love um the flowers and the greens around and the mushrooms were definitely my favorite uh and then we have these cute little doggy here again doing her gardening and just having fun in the grass so again if you have like a toddler that loves to do gardening with you wouldn't that be so cute to collect all those memories on this book like that and even for yourself making a gardening book and just having these cute little images i just love his smile um, so here we have tomatoes which is perfect because we did plant tomatoes this year so we'll be doing a little bit of journaling on that then we have this little guy and just uh, running around the grass how fun is that looks fun and dangerous <laughs> so here we have this other kitty just super super cute one of my daughters is really into gardening so i plan on doing a project and just kind of documenting all her fruits that are coming now we have some cucumbers and tomatoes that are already coming out um, and then look at this little guy oh my gosh just so cute i love it and then we have this cute little guy with all the flowers i'm more into the flower gardening i have my beautiful flowers on the front yard um, or they're coming back now i have the ones that kind of like go away for the winter and then they just suddenly start coming back and it was such a nice surprise to see this super bright a pink flower started to come and then bloom like a few came back so super super fun to see them come back um, and then i also created these more like settled backgrounds without all the little animals and there's another page that comes with this collection that is just the animals i just i don't think i printed that one but because i added that one later uh, but it is included and so you can go ahead and kind of have a background and just add the animals where you want them to put them if you want at all or if not you can just keep this page i thought this would be a really beautiful page for like the cover of a journal so i like that same thing with these other mushrooms so cute love the red mushrooms as well they just look so summery so pretty and i just had fun playing with all these different types and so then i also created these like plain flowery background again will be really cute for a cover and then my idea is to add the little animals on top so that way the animals can have like more dimension or maybe even make them movable so i always want to have like just a, a couple of plain plain backgrounds but i just love the flowers and then we also have like different backgrounds if you are using these for mini albums and you need just like pages to just add on the inside 
we have some of those as well so i think i printed double of these ones but look how cute are these and the little kitties i mean i just love love them so again of these backgrounds you can print just multiple so you can add throughout the pages so i just wanted to give you a quick look before i start playing with these this is going to be my um, june collection of the month so you can definitely join on patreon but if not you can also find these on my website as well and i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one